Morning guys. First job on the list of things to do is I've got that little hole in the side of that thing there. What I want to do is I just want to glue in a piece of timber behind there so that spiders or other creepy crawlies can't use that as an entry and exit to their little love shack. And that'll do it. Oh, it's in there somewhere. Trust me, it's in there. So now I can get these slats and go and drill in through the end grain for the dowels. Now, so I've made it a little bit awkward for myself. I've got six mil dowels through the top because I don't have very much width there. And I've got eight mil dowels through the bottom because I do have the width and bigger is better. So I keep getting told. So because I don't have a horizontal borer or any other fancy jigs around here, I'm just gonna use the drill press. The problem is, is that I've underestimated the capacity of my drill press. This table is all the way down and I still need another two inches up top. So, it gives me an opportunity to adapt and overcome. That's actually one of the first woodworking projects I ever made in school. So now how are we looking? Oh yeah, not bad, I've got about an inch on top. That'll work. So now I want to cut these top rails to the accurate length and that's supposed to be 698 mil but in actuality it is whatever this length is. So if it's 698, great. If it's 698.4, that's what I'll cut this to. And after that I'll move over to the router table and put a lot of roundovers on the inside edge of these legs, the inside edge of that, the inside edge of that, the inside edge of that, basically I'm going to round over every portion of this job because my hands can take it but a little baby's hands can't or a little toddler's hands can't.
And so now I forgot to do one of the most important parts for yesterday's video. I didn't set up a shot for the thumbnail. And you'd be surprised just how important these thumbnails are. It's like a book, it's like the cover of a book. Without a good cover of the book, you need a sexy girl on the front or something just to, so that everyone's walking by and it's, oh look, sexy girl. Oh gee, that's a good book, I might read that. So, here we go. I named yesterday's video something about dowels, so I have to do something about dowels for the thumbnail. So I've got some dowel holes there, some dowel holes there. If I get some dowels inside those holes, that would be good. Let's see how am I going to do this. Put that there. Put that there. The dowel's coming through there. Oh, not bad. Good enough. Ah, two birds with one stone. I can prove that these things fit together. This is just some random stick that I picked up. This goes here, this goes here. Look at that. Straight in. Now, do you reckon that's any good? Oh, I reckon that's pretty good. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Oh, there's a little bit of gap. That's because I got tear out on the saw. Now, if you really want to see if these are any good. And that's why I don't test fit all of them, because it's a pain in the butt to get them undone. All right, thumbnail time. That'll work. So before I start smooth planing and sanding all of these parts, I want to drill the dowel holes into the side of this panel and that panel now, because I'm going to do it on the drill press like I did earlier, but it's a lot easier to drill into the side of this than to try to drill into the side of all of that joined together. Using a paper template that I got off the computer, I just want to place it on top there and I've marked in a bunch of dowel holes. There's, there's way too many dowel holes, but they're easy to put in. But the main focus here is simply to make sure that the dowel holes don't run outside the areas that I'm gonna be planing off or shaping off. So I can put a dowel hole anywhere I like in here, just not here, here, here. This one's getting a little bit too close for comfort, so I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit. Then I can drill here, 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 and here. But just to make it easier for me to see on the drill press. And so for the dowel holes in the ends of these panels and across that rail there, they can pretty much go anywhere I like. The only, the only real thing that I need to worry about, or try to get right, is to get it running down dead center. So I know that these are 20 mil panels. So I'll set my marking gauge to 10 mil. 10 mil. This thing is so good. And I just scribe a line all the way around. So now I can just get a ruler and roughly measure out some dowels. Let's say 15 mil in from the end. One there. Halfway along, what I've got 97, what's that? 45, 48 and a half. One there. Plus 15, let's call it 80. And I'll just go around doing that, just putting enough dowels in there, just one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'll probably just put one here, just for giggles. And the reason why I'm not being very accurate with the way that I'm placing these dowels out is because when I transfer these dowel locations to the legs, I'm going to do a direct transfer method. So I could put one here, I could put one here, I could put one in, I'll put one out. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be a direct transfer.
And what better way to round out the day than making a few shavings, smoothing these faces out ready for a quick sand, and then we can install them into the assembly. This will be tomorrow's job. And on this note, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing if you already have, if you haven't subscribed, thank you very much for considering it. Thank you for the thumbs up if you gave me a thumbs up. If you gave me a thumbs down, that's okay, I don't mind. And if you left a comment, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much, see you tomorrow.